the factors that affect chemical bonds are known as bond parameters. Some such factors are bond length, bond order, bond angle, and bond enthalpy. Let's look at each of these factors. Bond length is the distance between the nuclei of the atoms that are bonded together. It is directly related to the radius of each atom in the bonded pair. In a covalent bond, the radius of each atom forming the bond is called the covalent radius of the atom. In a molecule containing similar atoms, the size of the atoms is the same. Hence, their radii will be the same. In such cases, the covalent radius is half the internuclear distance between the bonded atoms. Another type of radii between atoms is the van der Waals radius. It was calculated by van der Waals and provides the overall size of an atom, including its non-bounded valence shell. It is given as half the distance between two similar atoms in separate molecules in a solid. Some of the methods used to measure bond lengths are spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction and electron diffraction. The bond length between carbon atoms in an ethane molecule is calculated to be 1.54 angstrom units. The carbon to carbon bond length in ethylene is 1.33 angstrom units, while in acetylene it is 1.20 angstrom units. This difference in bond length leads us to our next parameter, bond order. The number of chemical bonds between a pair of atoms in a molecule is called the bond order of the molecule. Bond orders can be calculated from Lewis structures. For example, in ethane, two carbon atoms share one pair of electrons. Therefore, the bond order is said to be 1. In ethylene, two carbon atoms share two pairs of electrons. Therefore, the bond order is said to be 2. And in acetylene, two carbon atoms share three pairs of electrons. Therefore, the bond order is set to be three. Now, if you observe the bond order and the bond length of these molecules together, you will notice that they are inversely proportional to each other. This is because as the number of shared pairs of electron goes on increasing, the distance between the two nuclei forming the bonds goes on decreasing. From the Lewis dot structure, we get the sequence of atoms in a molecule. But what about its structure? For this, we need to look at the next bond parameter bond angle. It helps us create a three-dimensional structure of the molecule around the central atom. In a molecule, the angle between the orbitals present around the central atom is called the bond angle. In a methane molecule, there are one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. The bond angle of methane is 109 degrees and 28 minutes. It means that the angle between any two bonds that are formed between a carbon atom and the hydrogen atoms is 109 degrees and 28 minutes. Usually, when the bond angle is 90 degrees, 
the shape of the molecule is octahedral. When the bond angle is 180 degrees, the shape of the molecule is linear. Similarly, when the bond angle is 120 degrees, the shape of molecule is trigonal planar. Bond angles are measured using spectroscopic methods. Another bond parameter, bond enthalpy, is defined as the amount of energy required to break one chemical bond between two gaseous atoms in a molecule. It is expressed in kilojoules per mole. For example, the energy required to break the bond between the two atoms of a hydrogen molecule is 435.8 kilojoules per mole. When a molecule is made of more than two atoms, it consists of more than one bond. In such cases, the bond enthalpy for each bond may be different. Hence, the average of all the bond enthalpies is taken as the bond enthalpy of that molecule. Bond enthalpy is inversely proportional to bond length. This means, the shorter a bond between two atoms, the more energy it takes to break it.